Shame, Shame that, that tune. Well, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, you are gathered here tonight in this holy cathedral of music, comedy, and infotainment at the dawn of a new millennium to witness a game show like no other. A game show where your fate is decided by a wheel. A wheel that clicks as it spins. A game show where you'll hear stories so shameful they'd make Cosmo blush. A show where you hear a song so hastily composed the batter is still mostly wet. Are you ready to shame that too? Yes, Brian, thank you. And 
May the laughs you arose from this audience be as bountiful and vivifying as the cleansing waters of a Tahitian wish pond scattered throughout the eternal celestial season that is life's impossibly possible journey. <laughs> yes. Thanks, Nicole. It's a tall order, but uh, I'll certainly try that bitch. Thank you. And so you shall, Brian. And so you shall. Now, to our extended family here in the audience, please close your eyes and empty your minds of all unpleasant thoughts. Listen to the sound of my voice and let my words take root in the soil of your souls. Father Time needs Mother Nature. There would be no Lady Footlocker without Lord Footlocker <laughs> there to accompany her down the primstone path of athletic footwears. Also, would the ballad On My Own sound as sweet if Patti LaBelle's tear-jerking pleading was not complimented by Michael McDonald's bear-like soul sounds? I think not. <laughs> Accept and embrace the stark contrast in your own lives. Let them be a tricycle peddling you towards the childlike wonder that is enlightenment. Pause and reflect. Thank you. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, nice. Thank you, Life Coach. And uh, as luck would have it, since this is our women in rock themed show, I'm pleased to announce that Abraham and myself have pitched a show to uh, WTTW Channel 11. Mm. Uh, that's right, everybody. It's a show all about women. For women. You could even say it's <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> but unlike all those other shows for women where it's just a bunch of over the hill broads yapping about their JFK crushes, <laughs> we hope this appeals to both women and, more importantly, men. <laughs> it's the bold new daytime talk show on WTTW that we've decided to call. Chick, please. <laughs> or as Alpana Singh might call it, Chick, please. <laughs> yes, and welcome to Chick, please, the show where three regular Chicago guys. Hey, we're guys. <laughs> Chicago, sports, <laughs> and, uh, beer, uh, encased meats, you know. <laughs> Get together and talk about dead. You want. Abraham, you got something on your mind about the uh, chicks? Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, as you know, folks, fellas, I'm interested in women's studies. Really? Well, I'm not surprised. After all, you are a Bachelor of Fine Art. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm interested in women's studies. I do my homework at North Avenue Beach, <laughs> studying the women. <laughs> Hotsy mama. <laughs> Prime cuts. <laughs> you guys, this leads to uh, an interesting article I recently read in the latest issue of Esquire magazine. Maybe you've seen it. It's the one where the actress is on the cover trying to take her career to new levels by wearing a thong. Oh, oh, that cover. Yes, that is the very one. Well, in that issue, they ask the eternal question, blondes, or burnettes? Oh. Hmm, well, I don't know. Uh, how about both? <laughs> I, I gotta tell you, I'm with Brian on this one. We disagree a lot on many things. Uh, but in this case... <laughs> what I'm saying is you can only yeah. choose one, okay? If you had to choose one, what is your desert island hair color of choice? Man, that's a tough one. I mean, blondes are bubbly and fun. And yet, uh, brunettes are sultry and intellectual, and uh, they most likely went to correspondence school, so... It truly is a question for the ages. It uh, is, exactly. Hey, speaking of questions, how about this one? Dames, 
What are you gonna do? <laughs> That's a great question. What, what are you gonna do, my coach? <laughs> I don't know. Can't live, can't live with them? Let's get drunk. Yeah. Say, that's a good idea. Let's get out of here. Hey, Carly, um, I know you're just an intern and a lady intern at that. Um, but uh, is there any way you could hold down the fort while we're gone? I mean, I'd, I'd ask you to tell a joke, but I think the audience could use a break because we pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> lady. Lady intern, great, yeah. Thanks, Obama. Let's go. Mm. <laughs> Tonight you will be timed with wet yarn. 
<laughs> wet yarn. <laughs> Since women like wet yarn. Thank you. Thank you, Blake. Coach, okay. Let's go through these musical subgenres here. What do you say? This is for our women themed shame that tune. Here we go. Let's first category. Uh, Quote, fat bottom girls, end quote. Yeah. You know, I don't know that one. I mean, that must be Asian, Asian wisdom, Confucius, or uh, <laughs> Buddhist koan. Could be. Speaking of uh, Asian wisdom, me so horny. <laughs> Me okay. love you long time. I think we're the um, yes, uh, You break it, you bought it, Brian. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, here's one. Oh, Sherry. In the words of Steve Perry. Oh, Sherry. That's, uh, I think they know this. It's like people before their time. These are uh, millennials. Uh, here's one. Prince, sexy oomph. <laughs> Okay. Oh, hot. More at cherry pie. Yeah. Cherry pie. Hey, oh, you guys know this one. It takes you back. Yeah. Uh, cherry pie. Big fans of Sake and Shake. Yes. <laughs> uh, boxy lady. Yeah. Boxy lady. Uh, yeah, I like him. Yeah. Uh, brick house. Oh. Brick house. Yes. Uh, Featuring Lionel Richie on the saxophone. Oh. Inside baseball there. Oh, the trivia fun. Uh, here's one. Uh, girls, girls, girls. Girls, girls, girls. Is that uh, performed a little fair at the end? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's not everybody comes to get girls. Oh, oh uh, a stadium favorite. You shook me all night long. Oh. By... Acting. Yeah, um, she banged Ricky Martin. So he liked the women with the Zooey de Chanel haircut. He likes the nerds, yes. He's such a nerd. What a fucking dork. Jake's a dork, dude. Um, sisters are doing it for themselves. And this one, honest, uh, this actually has ladies performing it. So, for, so a song written and composed yeah. and performed. <laughs> we just learned this. There are actually women. women. We thought women in rock. There's actually women in rock. That is cool. This is I never knew. I never knew. I'm sorry. I just never <laughs> you, you break it, you bought it. <laughs> Me so horny. Um, okay, next category, question mark. Uh, this is where uh, you and the audience suggest a category. Uh, it could be, uh, enlighten us, women in rock. Uh, maybe you have an idea for a good category for this. So uh, just feel free to shout out a suggestion that you may have. Um, you know, let's hear it, and Abraham will take the one that uh, might be his favorite here. So, uh, on the count of three. One, two, three. Lita Ford, girls by the Beastie Boys. Yeah, Beastie Boys. Wow, nobody's yelling. Girls by the Beastie Boys. The yelling guy's not here. Usually that yelling guy is just like, Susie Sue! Susie Sue! He's not here tonight. This is so weird. Tribute to the Museum of Contemporary Art getting shut down. We are going to go with girls. Yeah. <laughs> girls by the Beastie Boys. And there's Miss Carly Sheen writing down girls. There we go. Okay, so let's.